All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with Bud Black. Um, Owen, do you want to start us off tonight? Yeah, uh, buddy, uh, just wanted to um, ask you about uh, what you thought of Kyle tonight. Um, obviously, a little shorter outing than normal for him, but uh, coming out off of the DL, everything considered, how did you think he did tonight? Well, you know, I thought Kyle's, <clears throat> Kyle's stuff was fine overall. He might have lost a little velocity in the fourth, but really good action on his pitches, uh, you know, kept the ball down. Got some strikeouts, got his ground balls, a couple ground balls, found some found some holes. But overall, he battled. Uh, they made him work. They really did. They laid off a lot of low pitches that had great action uh, down below the zone. Uh, you know, they ran his pitch count up a little bit. So, uh, you know, 70, what, 76 pitches in four innings. Uh, you know, they put some stress on him. They made him work a little bit. And I thought, you know, first outing of the year, after two rehab assignments, you know, thinking it's a long year uh, ahead of us, that, uh, you know, that was the time to take him out. But, you know, his delivery looked good. Uh, the action on his pitches uh, were fine. Uh, he, you know, he might not have located the ball, uh, you know, to his norm. But, you know, all, overall, I, I thought he threw the ball fine. He gave up. And did that? Does he give up one run? And the, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you about kind of the fastball command and if, if that looked like it got better during the game or how did. I think it just sort of stayed the same Owen from okay. pitch one. I, you know, again, you know, he probably, uh, you know, there's probably a lot of factors. First time in a big league game, uh, you know, probably amped up a little bit adrenaline. Uh, you know, the Mets, you know, were probably a little bit more selective going into this game, knowing that he was probably on a pitch count. And, and Kyle, uh, you know, you could tell that the ball was sinking. Uh, the ball had great action down. Uh, he was still on the ball low, and a lot of the pitches ended up down below the zone. But, uh, you know, he competed hard. You know, he you know, basically matched DeGrom. You know, DeGrom went five. He was on a pitch count. Kyle was on a pitch count. He went four. You know, it was, a, you know, it was a, you know, they're, you know, they pitched well. I mean, they really did. Their, their group of, uh, you know, DeGrom and the three relievers. And I got to look at this. I'm not sure I've ever seen a game where, uh, you know, every opponent's fastball was over 95 miles an hour. <laughs> that was yeah. that was something that I, you know, maybe we're going to see that in the future. But that was, uh, I mean, to say the least, impressive arm strength. You know, by the Mets today. I mean, that is, uh, you know, that, I mean, that's what's going on now in baseball, as we know, uh, velocity. And, uh, you know, the Mets showed it tonight. That was, you know, really something that I had never seen in 40 plus years of this game from, you know, obviously, you know, four pitchers. That was, yeah. that, you know, that was something. And finally, with uh, Chi Chi coming in, you know, he was obviously prepared in terms of his sure. routine. Um, had you given him any kind of mental heads up that, you know, in this particular case, be especially, you know, be ready for a long relief. Well, we didn't know exactly how the game was. Yeah. Going. You know, once Kyle got to, uh, you know, uh, what I felt was, you know, looking to be his limit, I, you know, I gave the bullpen a heads up and, and Chi Chi in particular to make sure that he had plenty of time to get loose, uh, which he did. And, you know, he, he was, he was prepared. I mean, he was mentally prepared for this and it actually, it worked out, uh, you know, sort of very well for us that, you know, Connor Joe made the last out pinch inning for Kyle. So, you know, we didn't have to maneuver anybody there around Chi Chi to, to double switch or, you know, have Chi Chi hit for himself. And, uh, you know, he had, a, he had a clean fifth and just threw the, threw the one hanging breaking ball to, uh, to Nito that, you know, he didn't miss. So, you know, really this game came down to just, you know, a couple of pitches on both sides and, you know, Nito got the big blow. Great. Thank you. Yep. Thomas. Yes, buddy. Obviously, you'd want Kyle um, to eventually get sharper, but isn't kind of tonight what you like about him in that when, even when he's not sharp and he's got guys all over the base, he's going to compete and compete and compete. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, I mean, he's going to compete hard, uh, you know, no matter, you know, what's happening in the course of the game. Uh, you know, tonight, you know, maybe, you know, his stuff was moving a lot, you know, it really was. And, 
uh, you know, there was there there were times when you know he'll, he'll I mean, if he speaks out, he'll tell you that you know, the ball had great action and they did a great job of laying off pitches below the zone. But you know, his stuff was good. His stuff was fine. Um, Ryan McMahon, right now, um, a, a, another home run tonight. Are you seeing that continuation of what you saw at home, where maybe it's a little bit calmer, better fundamentals in the swing, and he's being rewarded for it with some power? You know, we've talked about, you know, Max staying you know, right center to left center, uh, you know, sort of that, uh, you know, his sights there to, you know, that's where his swing is the best. Uh, you know, if there's a hanging breaking ball or something soft, he'll pull it. But, you know, the intent is to, you know, stay up the middle uh, and again, you know, be selective, make sure you're swinging at the right pitches. And, and tonight was tough, right? Because you got, you know, you got ultra velocity and, and guys with good breaking stuff. So, I mean, you know, the Mets got a good pitching staff stuff-wise. And I think we saw that tonight. And last one, um, the play that he made on Mabin, we, we saw it on television, just that bare hand. But could you appreciate from the dugout how good a play that was? Yeah, that was a good play in real time. You know, and we're close to it. I mean, that that's hard, you know, with a you know a guy who can run, uh, Mac playing back, uh, to come up and snare that ball and, and throw up. Uh, strike with some velocity that's uh, legit play I mean we've talked about his defense all year and and tonight on that play you saw it even the you know that one play uh, you know there at the end the Dom Smith uh, swinging bunt you know that was you know probably no chance to make that play but yet you know he barehanded and threw a you know off balance soda first but uh, you know that's the type of you know talent uh, that Mac has on defense and it's, you know, show tonight with those two plays. Thank you, buddy. Hey, buddy, it's Kevin. Uh, you mentioned the velocity, and, and early on it looked like that to you all were having some success at the plate against DeGrom. Did did something change as far as his delivery, or how did he kind of uh, then? Well, uh, you know, I'm – I don't think so, Kevin. I mean, I've, I got to look at the I got to look at the video to see whether he was locating the ball better. But uh, you know, we knew going in it was going to be, you know, anywhere from ninety-seven to hundred on the fastball, and uh, you know, Max squared one up. I mean, we were aggressive early. I mean, we we knew that you know it's tough for it's tough for you know our hitters to get behind or any hitters to get behind Degrom. You know, with his, you know, with the velocity, with the slider, with the changeup. Uh, I mean, you've got to be ready to hit the fastball because it's, you know, more than likely coming early. Uh, you know, tap uh, swung early. You know, I thought Trev had a good at bat, flew out. You know, Chuck swung at the first pitch. But uh, unless he was just a little sharper as the game went on, uh, I have to look at the video. But you know, his stuff was his stuff was real, and he's been doing this now for you know a couple of years, Kevin. This guy. Uh, you know, I've, I've said over the course of I think the last year and a half, two years that I, there's this guy's the best pitcher in the game by far. Did you see any change in the offensive approach tonight against him than whenever you all faced him, of course? No. Uh, again, we knew what's coming. I yeah. mean, you got to be ready to hit the fastball uh, because it's coming, you know, more often than the secondaries. You know, not really. I mean, it, you know, we kept the same, uh, you know, pre-game talk about him and what we wanted to do. And that's, you know, be aggressive early in the count on fastballs in the strike zone. So uh, and that was the same plan. I mean, he's, he's really good. He's a really good pitcher. Thanks buddy. Last questions from Thomas. I just wanted to circle back on tonight, Rogers. What do you think this does for his confidence? I mean, able to go the opposite way a couple of times, but still a couple of knocks against a very good pitcher. Yeah, it's early, uh, but it's good to see him, you know, collecting some heads. So that's good for him, uh, no matter how they come and, and what they look like. But, uh, you know, we, you know, the upside of Brennan is a, you know, really solid offensive player. You know, he's got that type of short swing. Uh, he can get the barrel to the ball and he's got some strength. So uh, any hitter will tell you, you know, you look in that box score. If you get, if there's, a, if there's numbers, uh, you know, by the, uh, you know, in the hit column, you feel good. So it's a, you know, obviously it's confidence when you look up at the scoreboard and you, and you see your batting average at a, at a certain number. Uh, it can, it can, you know, feels good. So for a young player like uh, Brandon trying to establish himself and you know get comfortable and confident and all the things that young players go through. And, 
you know, one of the first things you look at that scoreboard and see where your average is, and that's good. That's a good thing. Hey, thanks, buddy. Take care. Thank you, buddy. We'll have Kyle Freeland up in just a moment. Yeah. All right, let's start. All right, Tracy, do you want to start us off for Kyle today? Kyle, I mean, obviously, four innings is what Kyle Frio and the uh... Kyle, uh, Sorry, Tracy. Kyle, obviously the four innings isn't exactly what you're shooting for when you go out there to make it a start, but your first time back, how did it feel to be out there and uh, how comfortable were you with everything? Yeah, I definitely wanted to, you know, get deeper in the game. Uh, had a couple innings where, you know, threw a lot of pitches um, and it was kind of fighting through some things, but overall um, I'm pleased with everything, especially my health. Uh, that, that was a you know, I'm sure the first thing in everyone's mind today is making sure that I'm healthy out of the mound. Am I able to do my job without without any doubt in my mind? So that was, that was definitely a, um, a big positive for me and, and for the team and for the coaching staff. But, uh, you know, talking with Buddy after the fourth, you know, we, we didn't want to push anything. You know, we still got a long way to go in the season. Um, so, you know, today was a, a good first step of uh, getting back into things. So you've, you've now made three, three competitive starts that we know of the two at the triple A in here. No residuals at all? No, uh, I, I felt normal, you know, throughout all three of those. Um, and, uh, you, know, you know, that buildup was, was good for me down in AAA, you know, to get that stamina back up, uh, you know, see how my arm bounces back in a five-day rotation, uh, things like that. So everything, everything is trending positive for me. Thank you, sir. Owen? Yeah. Um, Kyle, I, I mean, you said you felt normal in all three outings. Uh, just today, especially, um, did you have any extra kind of energy or feeling amped up for the first start of the season, anything like that that was going on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been almost 60 days since I've, you know, truly competed against big league hitters, um, you know, since spring training on, on March 23rd. So yeah, there, there's definitely, you know, juices were flowing. I was, I was amped up. I was ready to go. Um, I don't think, I don't think it, you know, hurt me at all. Uh, I think it, it was good for me to, you know, feel those butterflies, feel that adrenaline through my body. Um, and you know, that, that, that's what I'm looking for. You know, as a competitor, you want, you want to feel that because you want to be out there competing against the very best and uh, see how you match up. And they, they got a lot of pitches out of you early. Um, did you feel like uh, that was to their credit or was, did you feel a little bit off in any respect in terms of your efficiency? You know, I, th I think that they had a, they had a good plan coming in against me. Um, I'm sure they thought that I was, was going to be very change up heavy, which I was, um, you know, I do some very quality change ups to the guys that uh, they ended up spitting on, um, you know, and, you know, Usually I'm getting weak contact or swing misses off those changeups, ups um, But that, that was one pitch that was really working for me. So we, we continue to throw it. Um, I know they were trying to have me work it a little further up in the zone so they could see it better and get a better barrel on it. But uh, we, we continue to throw it down the zone and, and uh, trying to get that weak contact. Great. Thanks. Good to see you back. Thank you. Thomas. Oh, and Buddy was talking about the action on those pitches and how they were moving. In a way, would it have been better to throw this thing at altitude where it wouldn't move as much out of the zone? Or, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll say I'll take the sea level movement. Uh, that's for sure because uh, you can see it. Um, it feels good when you can see your pitches move um, at sea level with you know that, that drastic movement, and you know it, you can see the bad swings that hitters take. Um, so you know, I think I think overall. The way my pitches were moving, how we were able to, you know, somewhat of a good job of keeping them off balance and, and creating weak contact and keeping the ball on the ground, letting the defense work. I think myself and Don did a good job of that tonight. What information can you take from this? Because in all probability, other teams will will, will use a similar plan of attack against you. Yeah, I mean, the, this... Throughout the course of 162 games, uh, especially with a starting pitcher, you're going to have to constantly be making adjustments. So I'll, I'll be conscious of that going into my next start, you know, against Pittsburgh, um, knowing that they probably, they'll 
will be watching, um, you know, my start here against the Mets and seeing how I was attacking guys. So it, it's a constant game of, of small adjustments, adjusting to the league, adjusting to the book of yourself and, uh, and making sure that you're not falling into patterns and you're continuing to keep hitters off balance and, and creating that weak contact. Where do you feel about your your fastball location is at this point? Is that uh, where, where you thought it would be? Is that something that can get a little bit better right now? I think it can get better. I mean, obviously, you can, you can always get better in this game. Um, you can always continue to refine your pitching. And, uh, and you know, fastball tonight, um, I think we probably could have thrown it a little bit more. I uh, talked to Dom about that. Uh, but fastball location for me is is good. It wasn't what I wanted it to be tonight. Uh, but it was there when when we needed it, uh, especially the two seam. Uh, so it's a pitch that you know every pitcher needs to have. It's it's a great pitch, um, and I think you know, like I said, it, the the location and the accuracy of that is is going to continue to get better as, as I go through this season. Um, you know, now that I'm back healthy. And last one for me: How does it feel to come back into a rotation that's pitched pretty well and hold up your end of it for the four innings tonight, and you hope more innings in the future? I'm very happy, you know, watching watching these starters, you know, over the past couple of weeks, um, grinding through their starts and doing a good job, leaving the team in a good place, um, you know, keeping runs off the board. They've been doing great. So for me to be able to jump right into that mix, um, obviously not be able to go as deep in the game as, as some have, but uh, to be able to keep runs off the board and, and lead the team with the chance to, you know, take a lead or win a ball game, um, it is definitely nice to see for myself. And then hopefully that we can we can continue to keep that rolling uh, as a starting rotation. Thank you. Yep. Larry. Yes, uh, you know, congratulations on being back, uh, Kyle. Uh, in a strange way, uh, for your competitiveness and, and for improvement, uh, is it a good thing going up against someone like DeGrom where you know you're going to have to uh, be pitching your best and then it ends up both of you going out with a 1-1 tie? Yeah, you know, I mean, all credit to DeGrom. He's, he's one of the best in the game. Um, that that goes without saying, really. Yeah, Ryan, um, Buddy was mentioning that he's – I mean, it, I think he was exaggerating maybe just a touch, but he's never seen a game with so many hard fastballs. Um, did, did that strike you, too, the standout to you? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously all, all their guys. I think the slowest fastball we saw tonight was probably uh, 97. Um, you know, they had some good stuff, man. They, they came at us pretty good. And, um, you know, it's baseball. I mean, do, do you get enough time in a game to, to adjust? Like I know over, you know, over the course of a career or over a season, you can adjust to a fastball, but like in one game with so many, do, can you adjust to that kind of velo? Yeah. I mean, obviously man, it's tough, you know, those are, those are top velo stuff like that. And, um, you know, different pitchers, it looks different from, uh, from different guys, but you know, it's uh it's not an excuse. Uh, you know, we're going out there, we're professionals and, uh, you know, but I did see some good velo tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, that's cool. And then can you talk about your home run? How did you approach that at bat? And um, and then how did you approach DeGrom just in general? Yeah, um, I was honestly, man, I was just trying to get him in the zone, um, you know, get him in the central part of the zone. Um, obviously, you know, we know his pedigree. We know who he is. Um, he's got an amazing repertoire. He's the best in the game. Um, you know, so I was just honestly, man, I was trying to put a, a short stroke on it and uh, just get a good pitch to hit. Cool. Thanks, dude. Larry Patrick. Yes, uh, Ryan, uh, when you go up against a, a guy like DeGrom, are you looking for one particular pitch and saying when you see it, you better hit it? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think I think that's the thing to do. Um, you know, for me personally, um, you know, trying to get him up, not too up, not all the way to the top of the zone, just to give me a chance on the fastball and, and possibly a slider if he leaves one in the zone or change up or something like that. But um, you know, I, I think being really picky against a guy like that is the only thing you can do. And if he makes his pitches, you're probably going to be out anyway. So you just tip a cap and walk back to the dugout. How'd you feel about having Kyle back out there tonight? It was great, man. Uh, you know, I, I love playing behind Kyle. He's a bulldog out there. Um, you know, he, he's always going to give his best effort. So uh, it's good to get him back. You know, excited to have him uh, moving forward. Barring any injuries, we now have kind of the uh, starting rotation. We we figured on at the you know beginning of the year. We're about a third of the way through the season right now. And of course, uh, fourth place and kind of far from third right now. What do you feel the offense is going to have to do to start clicking to go along with the pitching if you have hopes of moving up in the standings? 
Uh, that's a good question, man. Uh, I, I honestly think we just need to keep keep getting better. Um, you know, if we keep putting better bats on them, uh, you know, you start seeing these guys more. We're a young team. Um, you know, a lot of these guys are just kind of getting their feet wet. And I think that the more they play at these ballparks, the more they see these pitchers, um, the better that we're all going to get. So, um, you know, I, I think having good quality bats, passing, you know, kind of passing the torch to the next guy and everything like that, um, you know, I, I think that's going to help us big time. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. Thomas. Brian, when you're going to get someone like DeGrom, obviously you respect the pitches and, and and what he's done, but when you step into the box, do you sometimes have to say, okay, this is a pitcher who throws this and kind of try to forget the name of the Cy Young Awards? Yeah, 100%, man. Well, I mean, obviously you respect him, but I mean, you don't just, don't just roll over and play dead for him. You know, you, we're competitors too, and, and we want to go out there and, you know, we're going to play him as hard as we can too. Um, some of the things that we saw at home with you kind of staying open enough in the batter's box and not uh, not spreading out. It seemed like it showed up on that home run. I mean, do you, do you feel like, hey, that's just some, a little bit more positive reinforcement for what you're trying to do? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, anytime that I can stay above the ball, um, I'm typically going to get a better swing off. Um, as far as the defense is concerned, you were able to make one heck of a bare hand play. First of all, do you normally bare hand the ball coming at that speed? And secondly, um, you know, how did it feel to make a play like that? Yeah, uh, good play, man. I, I was excited I made it. Um, I felt like that was the only way I could I could get him out, honestly. So uh, I just kind of went for it and, uh, you know, got, got made the play. So, yeah. Okay, and finally, um, I, th I think it's four of your last five hits have been home runs. Um, do, do, do you, I, I guess, does that say that you're feeling good at the plate um, right now? Uh, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd like to mix in a couple more singles or doubles in there, help help the squad out. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely have a good uh, good swing going right now. So you know, just got to keep keep on keeping on, and you know, putting good at bats together, and uh, you know, trying to trying to help score runs and win games. Hey, last one for me to see Rogers kind of stick with some balls and uh, and, and get a couple hits tonight. Obviously, off a guy who's um, you know well known. I yeah. mean, what is it? What do you feel that does for his confidence going forward? That was awesome, man. So Raj and I were in the cage before the game, and and we got on, you know, a machine and had the spin and fastball turned all the way up, and you know, just kind of seeing him take that into the game and and doing exactly what he practiced, man. That was that was very professional. So that was good to see, and uh, I'm happy for him. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. Last question from Kevin. Hey, Mac, uh, I was going to ask you about the defensive play as well, but it looked like whenever you first grabbed it, you didn't have a firm hold on the ball. Did you kind of have to shift it in your hand to make the throw? I don't think I even shifted it, man. I just I just kind of threw it towards first. I, I kind of one-fingered it, but I uh, had enough on it to get the guy. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mac. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you all tomorrow.